Yeah, I remember when the ISSCR was still a figment in the imagination of a couple of, uh, you know, my colleagues, Lanzon or Weissman and others, and uh, they had this uh, vision for creating something um, that, that, that uh, the community needed, a um, point of coalescence where all the people who work in different kinds of stem cells came. And, uh, at the time thinking to myself, well, another society, uh, how's that going to work? But uh, here we are 15 years later and it's worked out terrific and uh, it's been really a real unifying force, I think, for the community. Well, it's wonderful to be a founder of a society. It's a very unique privilege and uh, when I started it, I had a vision and there's absolutely no question this is the vision that I had. Um, you know, I look around and we had one exhibitor at our first meeting. I think we have hundreds of exhibitors at this meeting and so that's quite amazing. Um, we have young investigators who are presenting at these posters and participating and to me that's so exciting and that we really want it to be a place where people grow and the society continues as a result of, you know, constant self-renewal which is part of stem cells and so as young investigators become old investigators that will be a lot of fun. The most exciting thing that's happened over the last few years is seeing how the research has been translated into the clinic. And we're seeing now more and more new therapies based on stem cell research entering the clinic, which is very exciting. One of the most uh, satisfying parts of my engagement with ISSCR has been our work on the various guidelines. Uh, in 2004-2005, it was clear we were interested in delving deeper into embryonic stem cells and yet we were being restricted by lots of debates uh, about the nature of human embryos and the derivations of ES cells. So as part of an international group, we put together guidelines and I think those guidelines have established a very, very strong roadmap, a set of principles that have guided the field over many years. journal we think sets the standard of how things should be done and we're really excited that the, the board has been so supportive. Nearly all the papers in the first issues were board papers so everybody was kind of shocked that we didn't uh, reject an awful lot of papers but they were so good in the beginning and now we have a kind of balance that's the same as every other journal. Education of the public obviously is crucial and ISSCR has a very important role so um, the whole you know, general discussion, education. I'm usually having uh, the webpage of ISSCR where they try to explain stem cells and clinics and what we don't know about these therapies yet. We started out as a small organization and a fledgling field, and over the last 15 years, wow. Both have boomed. So the field continues to be really exciting and the ISSCR has now really blossomed into a 4,000 person operation that still represents the, the best of the field.